Okay. Um, so I made a couple Tussie Mussies before. Uh, one was for a swap and one was for um, a meetup that I did last month. And um, so um, let me show you an example of, well, of course, everyone should know what a Tussie Mussie looks like, but um, I have this one that I had got from the swap from um, uh, Rosemary. Bustillos, and look how pretty this is. So, so these are really nice. Okay, so yeah, so, so those of you who might not know what it looks, not what it might not look like, and actually, I w I thought of doing like a small one, but. I like using the the twelve by twelve paper only because it you can add more stuff to it. So that's why I thought I'd do a, a big one. Yeah, isn't that it is pretty. I I really wanted that one. She she swapped with two people and and so I really wanted that one from when I first seen it. So <laughs> anyhow, um so um I'm going to be using paper from it's uh, from the paper stack uh, paper studio. It's this one. The hab I can't see it. Um, hab haberdashery or something like that. And it's like real vintage paper. Uh, you know, for some of the use who's not might not know what it looks like. It's really pretty, real vintage. It's like craft paper. So um, I'm using that, and it's not double sided. So what I'm going to do is um, um, I'm going to glue both of these down. Um, I wasn't sure which one I was going to use in the outside, but I think I'm going to use this one because it's not so busy going on like this side is. And I'll just use this side for the inside. Um, I guess it's easier to use double sided, but last time I, on my first Tessie Mussie, I uh, put a uh, doily, I put Mod Podge on it, and that's what was in the inside. And on the second one I did, this is what I did. So, yeah, this is real vintage paper. It's real pretty. So, I didn't prepare one ahead of time, and so I don't know. Hopefully, this will work out fine. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use my um, Aileen's uh, tacky glue to glue this down because I don't have an ATG gun. So I wish I did. I, I have some double-sided paper, but I mean not uh, double-sided tape. But I figure it might take me a while to because I'm not used to using tape. So. I'll just use this anyways. I, I do pretty good using this, so. Yeah, I, I wish that their paper, paper was double-sided, but it's not, so. I had used the same paper to uh, make my um, name plaque that I did for Inspire Create also. So. And I'm not putting this in any particular way, you know, because all of it's real pretty on the inside, so. Have many of you done Tussie Mussies before? Okay, I think I think on the edges I'll use some hot glue just so it sticks. Um, and I'm hoping I don't go over because I've never done one this fast. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember Rebecca, you did do 
Oh, you made a couple, if I remember. Those were nice. I want to make one. Um, hi, Mickey. Um, I want to make actually some like for Christmas because I've seen some that were like ornaments, like for ornaments, and they're really pretty. So, okay, I hope this works out fine. If not, I'm going to start over. So, like basically, what I did is on my last two, I didn't leave the this top part, you know, the pointy. So this time I'm going to leave it. So the way I had um, rolled these, let me see if I remember correctly, is I just flip one side over. I don't know if you can see it. And I work more with this top part. And you're basically going to make it like a comb. A lot of people just do theirs more like, you know, they cut this part, so it'll kind of be like a ice cream cone or witch's hat, whatever. I don't know if you can see it. So basically, that's what it's looking like. I don't know where's my camera. Let me move it a little bit. So you just work with the paper. I mean, I think it would have been better if I would have glued it with, you know, ahead of time. But I didn't want to do that because I wanted you to see the step-by-step -step what I was doing. So basically, you want to have the... You know, there's like a little um, pointy, you know, like an opening. You don't have to dangle anything from it, but you can if you want to. So, let me see. It's hard to get used to my webcam. So, um, so I'm going to glue it around the edge now because now it's kind of, you know, like a cone. And I'm not too worried about this end here because I'm going to be covering this. I think it's a big difference on obviously on your work if you take your time and you're not rushing. But the last one I made I was actually in a rush. And it actually came out pretty nice. I don't like those um, hot glue strings. I wish there was a way around that. My daughter likes these. Oh, thanks. <laughs> my daughter's going to craft me when she comes. We're making a shadow box for my grandson, so I'm looking forward to that. So there's the cone. I don't know if you can see it. I love this paper. So pretty. So, um, so hard to show this. 
Okay, now um, this uh, lace trim that Deb carries on Ganarti is really pretty. I got a bunch of this, and of course, if any, if you all know me, I gotta use black somewhere in there. So it's really pretty. I got quite a bit, so I wanted to use it for multiple projects. So this I had thought of putting this around here, but as you all know, we have you know you play with your laces and stuff till you get it the way you want it. Um, so, but I think what I'm going to do first, I might cover this first, and I wasn't sure what I was going to use for that yet. Um, I was going to incorporate white, but I think I don't think I will, because I thought of putting this lace as well that uh, Deb carries. This is really pretty. I, I love this one. Uh, Mickey, the paper is from the paper studio. Um, I can't pronounce it. Hold on. Let me look at it again. Um, Haberdashery? Haberdashery? Um, it's really pretty paper. Let me show you a picture of it. That way, if you want to buy it, you know what to look for at the store. So, it's this one. It has really pretty vintage craft paper in it. Okay, so along this edging here, um, I'm not sure which lace I'm going to use, to be honest. Um, since I'm using black, I didn't want to use like a whole lot of black, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Um, I might just stick to a different white or because um, I don't want to use like too much black either. I used this last time, but this was on the inside, so. Um, which one do you guys think I should use? Should I use more black on the end here or do you think I should use the white one because this one's really pretty and then you can put something here in the middle or should I use uh, something else to cover this because I usually like I say I usually put something here but I don't want it to take away from what I'm gonna put on here so what I planned on putting on here was um, these heart appliques um, I don't know if you could see they're really pretty so I thought of using those and this one but I'm not sure if it'll clash with the I don't think it will I actually think, oh, where's my camera? It'll look nice. Um, so should I use this black here? I just need to cover that spot. Maybe if I put a smaller black lace there. Because the, these ones that I got from Deb's store are, this is the other wide one. This one's pretty too. Maybe I can use this one being that this part's to the back. I can put that towards the back. What do you all think? Because remember, I'm going to be putting black around here, you know, this one, so I don't want it to be too, 
you know, too, um, too much black going on. Um, I might put some thinner black if I'm going to use black because this one's kind of thick. Yeah, I, I like this heart. It's pretty. So I think I'll use the, I don't know. I really want to use this. I <laughs> like insisting to use this, I guess. Um, let me see how it'll look with the black. This is the hard part about doing projects because you change your mind like a million times. I think that'll look nice like that. Yeah, these laces are really pretty. I, I got the white ones and I really like them. So I think I'm going to stick to this. Anyways, I can always um, cover this up with something. Let's see. So much decisions, huh? Oh, I lost my scissors. Oh, here they are. So these scissors um, I've been using for my laces, these, because I don't have any smaller ones, these are, um, Deb carries them in her store, they're actually uh, laser scissors, but I don't want to use them for anything else, they're probably better for paper, but... The last time we had the class, there wasn't any commercials. At least I didn't go through any, so I don't know. Maybe there was, and I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm sure I would have, though. Let's see. Um, sorry, I'm taking forever on this. I just don't want to mess it up once I glue it. Make sure I have the right side up. So I hope some of you guys already entered the contest that Deb is having. Um, put up a link on my Facebook. You just uh, go to her store. You like the, you know, if you're not a uh, follower, her, follow her of her page, or you go like her page and then you go to the, her store and pick a, an item. I, I believe that's how it is, right? Deb, you pick an item and then if you win, uh, you'll send the person, the winner, the, the item, particular item. Hi Rhonda, you made it. I don't like all the netting that's around it sometimes. You know, when you get that netting like even around the little rosette flowers. That's like something that just annoys me. I don't know why. I can't handle seeing it. Whoop. I'm just going to tuck this on bottom.
Okay. I have my heat gun on low because last time I almost burned myself, it was on on high. Gosh, I don't like these at all. Okay, so I put the the lace on here. I don't know. If, do you guys like the way that looks? Okay. Um, does anyone have any questions so far or any comments you want to make, like suggestions that maybe I should do? I'm open to suggestions. Thanks, daughter. other black one I think that looks pretty nice some off because okay yeah that's a good idea I never thought of using heat gun thanks Marianne for that tip I never thought of using that <clears throat> making this for my mom um because it was she turned 90 in on sunday and um so i told her i was gonna make her something i hope you guys aren't bored <laughs> it's just you know how it is when you're crafting you tend to like uh, at least I do. I'm like uh, full concentration. Sorry, thought I was on frame. That doesn't stay sticking up. Well, if it does, I'll glue it down. Thank you, Rhonda. Yeah, she's pretty good for being 90 years old. She's in pretty good health. She's like in better health than I am, I think. <laughs> for being that you know she had a lot of kids and 
I mean, some of you might not know, but um, a lot of people are surprised at this. But I'm the youngest of 17 children. Uh, my mom, actually, I have, there's, well, 13 of us uh, living, but my mom gave birth to three, well, to triplets, triplet girls, like 12 years before I was born. And then one of my brothers um, was killed a, in a drunk driving accident um, 12 I mean, a year before I was born. So, um, so I come from a very big family. So a lot of people freak out when they hear that. But yeah, she's, she's pretty good for her age. Anyways, I hope you guys are like can tell this is coming out. Um, like I say, it's hard to determine what you want to use. It's like when you're doing, you know, your video, you, you know, you don't know what you're going to use. You got to play around with stuff. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, um, my sister, one of my sisters used to always, um, tease me and she would tell me that I was the menopause baby, <laughs> which I guess is kind of true because all my brothers and sisters are like a year or two apart and I'm the only one that was eight years apart from my sister and so, um, I was an very unexpected, I guess. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's cute. My daughter's really close to my mom. My mom gets really happy when my daughter calls her. Let's see. So there is the, he's finding with these glue strings. So I hope you all can see that. I don't know why I'm so, my camera doesn't seem to be right in place. So I don't know if I'll glue this part down. I might glue it down like that, that way it's not sticking up. Oh wow, so we, you guys know what it's like to be in a big family, well years apart, I'm her favorite, yeah daughter I think you are her favorite, <laughs> okay so do you guys all like that, I think it looks cute, um, I'm not sure yet about this heart. I really like it. I was thinking of putting these flowers here on the side. Um, I don't know. I have one that's really long too. Do you guys all, all like the way that looks or? Does it look funny? Because I had thought actually of putting one of these um, little angel cherub things. I think they're really cute. Um, I wanted it more on the front. But it might look nice. No. Doesn't look that nice on the side. 
Is there like a glare? Can, can you guys see? Oh, we're in a commercial. Uh, then I'll have to cover that flower up with something. Um, let's see. I also have these little fans that um, Rosemary had given me. They're really cute. Uh, okay, I don't recognize Zip. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I apologize. Is is this um Bernadette? Yeah, because you gave me these, so if these this is Bernadette, these are the ones you gave me. They're really cute. So I might put that here on the side. I don't know if it would look funny. Okay, hi. Bernadette, thanks for joining me. Um, I don't know where to put that angel at. <laughs> Bernadette. Uh, Bernadette is also from Inspired Laugh Create, uh, a Facebook group I'm in. If, if you all don't don't know who she is. Um, maybe I think I'm gonna put some trim. I'm trying not to keep you all too late. <laughs> so. Do you all like the way that looks, or should I put flat back ones? Let me see. I think the flat back ones look better, huh? I will stick to the angel and these hearts. I won't put this heart. So daughter, I might make this one for you. Since you like the Tussie Mussies. Oh, also over here, um, I forgot to make a hole there. But, I mean, I could always cover it up. But, you know, where your, whatever handle you're going to use, so, I had thought of using these clear um, disc garland that Deb carries in the store. Um, either that or these white ones that I got from um, Les Leslie Smith. She had sent me a, a rack the other day and um, she sent me that. So, I'm not sure which I'm going to use. Um... So I think I'll use the flat back curls. They seem to be not so, um, you know, like they they they're not like taking everything away, you know, like the the these uh, teardrop ones were. So. Yeah, so if you guys want to get some of those angels, um, Bernadette, 
it has a store online. So Bernadette, if you you know you want to put your link up so people can go take a look and they can get those little angels. They're really cute. And the little um, ceramic shoe also that you carry is really nice. Should have used a lighter for this. Does anyone have any questions or ideas I can do on here, or comments, anything? Everyone's awfully quiet. I'm not, um, you guys aren't bored. Daughter, pretty soon you'll be crafting. You should. You're a good artist. Still gotta send you those dolls. Oh, uh, I'm glad you guys like it. I wasn't sure what to do. I've been wanting to do a testy mussy for the longest time, right, Deb? <laughs> And um, and then like last minute I wasn't like sure what if that's what I really want to do. God, these glue strings are really bothering me this time. Last time it wasn't this bad. It seems like okay. So I put some uh, flat back uh, pearls around it and. Um, Oops, around the top. Kind of crooked there, but now um, I want to incorporate this flower if you guys can see it. Um, let me think what I can put down here. I lost my angel. I don't know where I want to put the angel. Um, Rosemary had made me these uh, handmade flowers, and they're really pretty. Look at this pink one. When we did our meetup, she. Uh, she gave me these flowers. Um, I thought maybe a flower would look good there. Like a big one covering. Oh, this camera has me annoyed. Um, Sorry. I think that's better. 
I don't know who moved that. Okay. Um, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, these are so big that you can't put the whole thing on standing up. But yeah, curl. Uh, like curl what this? Um, Rhonda. I'm, I just want to like I, I don't want to cut it maybe I could just bend it thanks I'm glad you guys you guys got to tell me your honest opinion because I don't mind you guys because I'm new to this as you all know and some of you know I haven't been crafty for long so I like getting ideas and inspiration from from a lot of you guys. So, okay, I'm gonna glue this here. These are so pretty. Um, Bernadette, you gave me these as well. These are so nice. I have a real long one too, but I like want to hoard everything. Okay, yeah, I should have wrapped it, but I just bent it backwards. And anyways, the flower is gonna cover, but now I know for next time I have another one. So, There's that. That glue is just going all over the place tonight. So I think that'll look really pretty on there. Like that. For some reason my heat gun doesn't want to warm up. Curly cues. Yeah, I've seen some people um, uh, do the curly thing with this, you know, the the stem of the the flowers and like those green ones they look really pretty so I'm going to put a lot of glue so it doesn't come off so there's that I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look like you can see the white very well. Hold on, I'm looking for the camera. I think that looks nice. I wish I could let you guys see the whole thing standing up. Yeah, I don't know. Like, And then if you put it, the glue gun on high, it's like you burn your fingers off. So, And I don't like using those little finger things. So I think this angel I'm going to put in the inside like on the hold on Let's see where I'm at right here um that way you can and my mom likes angels so I think it will look nice there but um I might put some trimming on the inside let me see next. Actually, what I want to put right away is this. I got this little um, charm from uh, Leslie as well. And I don't know if you can see it or if it's blurry. It doesn't seem like it wants to focus in. But it's, um, it says love on here and it has hearts and stuff. So... What I'm going to do is this, I'm going to put down at the bottom, like you don't have to put like a dangle on here, but you can, you know, and then you could cover it up with, with another kind of lace. Let me see if I can. 
anyways if anything I'll, I'll cover it like I'll glue it let's see if I can hide it there so I put that to dangle from the bottom and then I'll probably cover it with a, like some other lace uh, I really wanted to use this um, lace that Deb has as I love this one it's like my one of my favorites isn't this pretty if you guys haven't gone to her store you really gotta go check it out I might put a strand of a, like a little piece of this inside like that but just like a little piece because you can cut this off that's what I did when I did a tag the other day so I think I'm going to cut I already started cutting that side but they look like little flowers if you can see them they're really cute so I'm going to put a little color of that in there that way there's kind of a hint of of that in there since you know it's not double sided paper you know it's kind of a bummer Yeah, my daughter knows me for my dark colors and burgundies. I love them. And like, I try doing stuff like, you know, like shabby chic and whatnot. And I have a hard time. Like, I always go back to doing something vintage. Deb, the, the site isn't coming up. It's just doing the whole censored thing like it likes to do sometimes. Sorry, I'm taking so long. This takes a little while. Let's stand up now. See what I'm doing. I've seen some Tessie Mussies that people layer like lace, and that looks really pretty. Okay, uh, now it's up. Yeah, it's up now, Rhonda. just takes a while luckily these aren't that they don't take too long to make I guess it just depends on how much embellishment you're putting yeah I had yeah that's right I thought of putting the angel like right at the top but I wanted to put this uh, lace on the inside So this you also find over at uh, Gone Artsy, and I, um, the black one as well, and the white one. So, okay, yeah, I wasn't sure, like. Try not to look at the clock sometimes. Because if not, like I'll start rushing and then I'll mess up. <laughs> I 
I might have to do this in pieces or Desi, is the Laren um, letting you watch this, or is he napping, or is he running around? My grandson, um, I can't wait to see him in a couple weeks, and uh, he's getting so big. Thank God for Skype. I'm just going to cut that there. issues this time with this glue gun. I'm not even kidding. Oh, he says, hey. <laughs> He's so funny. He's a little charmer. My grandson. My daughter's going to be in trouble when she's having to deal with all kinds of girls after him. He's a flirt. It's snowing already in Denver, right, Destiny? Ouch! My son was in Denver uh, last night for a concert, um, well, around the Denver area, and he said it, that there was snow when he was there coming back today. I don't know if you guys have snow yet where you all live. Probably not, because some of you live in Florida, which I wish I lived over there. Oh, thank you, uh, Rebecca. He is, he's really cute. Gosh. And I tell you, I put my heat gun on high, now I'm like burning my finger off. I want to get one with the, with the real thin tip. I heard those kind of prevent you from not getting burned so much. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he does have pretty eyes. And he's got big dimples and he's adorable. I'm so anxious to see him. I'm going to have to use this because I'm burning my finger off. I say I never use these, but now I'm using it because. Ouch. <laughs> Deb bedroom eyes. He does. He has, he's a little flirt. I wish there was a way we could like all chat like well, we probably sound like a bunch of chickens if we all try to talk at the same time. But, you know, we're, we don't have to type and we just can chat. Or I can hear you guys because I think that would be neat. Okay.
Okay, so there's that, and I'll just finish gluing the rest of the inside later, but I don't know if you can see that. That looks really pretty. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You ladies are too nice. <laughs> You're making me blush. My daughter's beautiful. Yeah, she is. Okay, so I'm going to put that, that uh, angel on here. So... Yeah, the it did match the paper didn't the lace. Um, I think it looked really nice with it. I loved using um, like I've gotten more ideas through Pinterest. My my daughter loves Pinterest, so now I'm like addicted to it. I try not to pin a whole lot because <laughs> I'll go crazy if I do. So there's that. Oh, I don't know how I can show you guys without. So there's the angel. I'm trying to get it at a good angle. Let me turn off my lamp here. So I think you can probably see that better like that, right? So, um,. See what else was I gonna do? Oh, let me cover that up right away. Down at the bottom, I use this lace. I love this one. This one I got from um, I can't remember. It wasn't I think it was lavish laces or something? Oh yeah, it was from Jay Zella. This was the first thing of lace I ever bought. So I'm gonna put that down there just so it has a little, uh, you know things that hang down from there and then I'll put some some um, flat backs around there just to cover that uh, little charm that's dangling there Yeah, you are, daughter. My daughter loves Pinterest. She's always sending me ideas. I told her, you should start crafting instead of sending me ideas. <laughs> she really is. I think she would be a really good crafter because she can draw. She's, she's a really good artist. But, well, she probably doesn't have time now with my grandson, but I think she should. She's gonna she crochets though. She's gonna she promised me she's gonna crochet me some some little doily flowers. So oh. so there's that. Put that lace on the bottom. Maybe I can add like some trim around that later, some black one. Um I wanted to put these hearts in these were part of my kit too um, but I don't let me look through my I have so much stuff piled here um, I wanted to put these uh, to hang from but I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not. 
Let me see. And I wanted to use some of the bling from Gun Artsy. Um, these are really pretty. These were from Rebecca's kit. I got Rebecca's kit. They're little um, tulips. I don't know if you can see that. They're cute. My mom likes tulips. Um, and then these little bows I was going to put on the inside. Wherever I'm going to make the holes. Like in here. Like that. Um... Well, I don't want to overdo it. I, I but I know I want to add something else. I just don't know what. Um there's also these butterflies. So I don't know if I should do butterflies or the hearts. See these butterflies are really pretty. I will add too much because you know sometimes when you overkill you know it might get a little bit too too much going on I need to still trim the edges on here up here on the top but I really like this paper it's really pretty I'm going to put anything else. I might just put one of these hearts here. Uh, and I usually follow my instincts because sometimes I tend to overdo things and I don't like it. So I think that heart looks pretty there. Um, does every thank you um, does anyone have any questions um, I'm practically done with this uh, like do, do you all have any questions or uh, anything you want might think would look nice if I add or do you ladies are the pros <laughs> So I just go based on, you know, what I see you guys do and whatnot. I missed how you want to touch the charm at the bottom. Oh, okay. Well, this charm came with a little. Um, I don't know if you could see it. It's like a little. Uh, what do you call those? I don't even know what they're called because I don't work with charms or anything. I got this. It's like a little pin. So, um, like I say, I, I don't want to add anything here. I usually always add stuff right here where the seam is. Um, and I've added like a couple things here on my last Tussie Mussies. Um, but I love the way that looks there with this trim. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure, like, I'm undecided yet if I'm going to use those beads or these beads, like, which ones I'm going to use for the handle. So, I will post pictures of that later because I want to use the crocodile that Deb um, 
sent me the other day so I could put the little uh, grommets on there uh, and I don't want to keep an anyone lobster yeah I think that's what it's called yeah I'm gonna leave it like that I'm like I don't think I'm gonna put anything else D does this heart look okay like that on there kind of okay well um all right I don't want to make this longer than I you know than I should or anything so um, I will post put pictures up once I clean it up a little bit and take off the I'm gonna try that with the with the glue gun I mean with the heat gun to take off the glue strings and um, if you guys um, would go to Deb's uh, store to go artsy on Zibit she's having a um, well it's on Facebook she's having the uh, contest um, you like her, the page and you also like uh, go to her store and pick something you like and you um, copy and paste it to to the where the contest is running and then she's gonna select someone from um, from the random dot org I think and um, you'll win whatever you chose um, also again her trims are sold in half yard increments and she's got beautiful bling so and really good prices there's a couple that I wanted to show you if you like those and um, also I don't know what oh, okay um, yeah so you're not doing oh, okay yeah choose single items like not don't choose a whole kit <laughs> um, and the kits are available till the end of the year thank you uh, mojo that's how I don't know who who that is but I, I think I remember from last time that that looked familiar your username so sorry if I don't know who you are <laughs> thank you oh Melinda <laughs> I was wondering if you were here or not. Melinda, um, everyone, Melinda is Mojo9085-1, and she's also one of my friends on Inspire, Laugh, Create a Facebook group. It's a really good group, and I'm having a lot of fun in there. And um, Yeah, so um, that way everybody knows who everyone is. And... Um, yeah, so I hope that you all um, got some kind of an idea of how, you know, I make, how you can make a tassimasi or you just basically just do what you want, you know, what your taste is or, um, and, you know, like they say, you can't be perfect on your projects, you know, um, you have to mess up here and there to make something look nice and, um oh thank you Mickey I'm glad you were able to join join me hopefully you'll you'll feel better soon um yeah and uh Deb's gonna be um uh, putting some hand you know homemade stuff on on her on her uh, store as well and I'm going to be doing those um, little, let, let me grab them real quick to show you. Um, to, I'm going to be doing them, and I'm going to, hopefully I can start a business doing them. They're these little um, headbands for babies. And so if some of you didn't, didn't see these, I used some for trims and um, some rosettes flowers that I had and some bling so those are two and then I did the set here it's the headband oops the headband um, 
with the little um these are like bear, uh sandals for for babies I'm too close so um, I'm going to be doing those sets as well so I'll probably put those on the store um, anyways so thank you all for um, joining me uh, is there anything else you want me to or you want to put on here Deb to let people know anything And I just want to thank everyone again for joining me. Um, my next class, uh, I believe, is the day before Thanksgiving. And that I'm going to be making a um, this secret envelope keepsake box. You know, the one that looks like a, a stack of letters. And it's a little box when you open it. So I I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, so if you guys haven't gone to like the page or her fan, uh, fan page you might want to go on there and, and now for the holidays you know you can get started ordering stuff early and Deb has really good deals on there so um, hope you guys all enjoyed the class and if you guys have any questions you guys can message me on Facebook or or wherever you know Thank you, daughter, for being here. I'm glad you were able to join me. Yeah, Melinda, she's a big fan of Gone Artsy Deb. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, everyone, for joining me. And uh, hopefully this will record and it will broadcast tomorrow. I hope everyone has a good night. Bye. Thank you, Rhonda. Love you, daughter. Thank you again, Melinda, for being here. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.